Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Shelby if you're new and welcome. So today's video is my Instagram followers picked my makeup. I put up a poll on my Instagram stories uh, maybe like a few days back and I was like, okay, well choose between this product and this product and then I chose the product that has the highest votes, applied them on my face and the one catches, these are all products that I used to love that I haven't tried in the longest time. So, if you want to see if some of these old goodies are still good, then let's just get right into this. First, primer of course, and the Maybelline Master Prime 1 by 60%. That's crazy. And this is just a blurring and smoothing primer. I actually like the consistency of this. It's more of like a lotion type of primer, not so much like of a silicone feel to it. I don't know, I think it does a pretty good job. It's definitely not my favorite like drugstore primer, but I think it does something. I feel like it doesn't really smooth out my skin as much as I would like it to, but... I mean, it's pretty good for like, what, $10? So I included the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 and then the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. And the Better Skin won by 63%. But the thing is, the shades that I have in that foundation are so dark. I tried to find lighter shades in store so I could include it in this video, but they don't sell it anymore. The places that I looked, I looked at Target and Ulta, couldn't find it anywhere. I think they replaced it with this. I might be wrong, but this is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. So I think I'm going to just do this one. This is in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. Hopefully this one matches me right now because I got a little tan going on, even though it doesn't look like it. It's a really good drugstore foundation. If you're looking for one that's really lightweight and stays on your skin for the whole day, I would definitely check this one out. Just blending this out with a Real Techniques sponge. So I got this sponge in a set of four when they were on sale. And this is like so squishy and so like, I don't know, it's like so airy. I don't know if I like it or not. I feel like it's definitely different than like just their original like one packaged one. I don't know. Let me know if you got that four pack because I'm not a huge fan of it right now. Anyways, moving on to concealer. So the Maybelline Master Conceal 1 by 57%. So I have the shades Fair and Light. These are very full coverage, lightweight kind of concealers. These are like the most full coverage concealers I think they have in the drugstore at the moment. So I think I'm going to do light because I feel like fair looks real fair. Oh, is this empty? I feel like all these products are empty and I'm just hoarding them. Does anyone else do that? Oh, this is a little dark. Okay, maybe I'll do just like a few dots of this and then mix fair in with it. I hate this packaging, I'm going to be honest. Look at the difference in those colors. For a minute, I thought this was taking off the foundation where I initially, like, dotted it, but I think if I blend it out, it's not that bad. And then moving on to powder, I gave you guys a choice between the Cody Airspun or the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Airspun 1 by 54%. I haven't used this in forever. I don't even know if I still like it. The whole thing is literally full. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the smell of this. I hate the smell of this. It's actually a bomb powder. What? I gave you guys a choice between the NYX Tame and Frame Pomade and the NYX Eyebrow Pencil. And thank the Lord, the Eyebrow Pencil won by 61%. So this is in the shade Ash Brown. So brows are complete. It took me a while to get these brows on. Oh my goodness. So I am going to contour. I know I didn't include any contours in the poll. So I'm just going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and use this shade only. Just because I can't do my makeup without contouring nowadays. It was between the Essence Matte Bronzing Powder and then the NYX Matte Bronzer. And the NYX Matte Bronzer won by 63%. So... <laughs> Ooh, I'm pretty sure you guys don't know this, but look at this shade. Yeah. 
Um, I'm just going to kind of like roll with it. I didn't want to go ahead and buy another one because I'm not sure if I really like this compared to my other bronzers that I have found a new love for. But we're going to test it out. We're going to try. I'm going to go in with a very, very light hand like, like not on the brush. <laughs> And then bronze the skin. I think it looks really good, actually. I'm really surprised. I was a little bit scared about this one, but I think we're looking good. So now moving on to blush. It was between the Wet n Wild blush and the Essence Set and Touch and the Wet n Wild 1 by 61%. This is in the shade Mellow Wine. It's just a gorgeous nude. It has no shimmer in it. My type of blush. They're very pigmented so you literally only need the tiniest amount. And I apply this right on my cheeks. Blush is like an obsession of mine. I never used to wear blush when I first started wearing makeup. And now, like, I can't do a look without it. Just, like, contouring now. The biggest difference. Like, look how cute that looks. And then, before highlighter, I'm going to spray my face with the Smashbox Primer Water. You can use any type of spray you have in your collection. It doesn't have to be this one. It can be the Mario Badescu one. It can be MAC Fix Plus. Whatever your little heart desires. I just like to spray this to kind of, like, get rid of all that excess powder. And then it allows the highlighter to stick to this instead of other powders. I don't know. I just like the way it makes my highlighter look. And then for highlighter, it was between... Let me, let me scroll. Let me scroll. <laughs> the Wet n Wild Omega... Yeah. No. <laughs> Omega. Where the heck did I get that? Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder and the Maybelline Master Chrome and the Wet n Wild one by 58%. And this is in the shade Precious Petals, like their original one, the OG. Wow. I love that you can make this a nice subtle highlight and like leave it there and like it'll just look so pretty. But I like to bring it to this level, you know, real intense. What next? Mascara. I'm gonna I'm gonna curl my lashes before I go in with mascara just to make them look a little bit better. And it was between the Maybelline Big Shot and the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And the Lash Paradise won by 68%. And then for lips while we're chilling here, it was between the Wet n Wild um, Liquid Catsuit and the Maybelline Vivid Matte. And the Maybelline Vivid Matte won by 58%. And this is in the shade... Five Nude Thrill. Guys, I'm obsessed. My lashes look like falsies right now. Right? I'm really obsessed with my lashes right now. I think they look gorgeous. So let me take this nasty foundation off my lips. And then I'm going to go in with a lip liner just because this applicator is not very precise at all. Like, look at that. <laughs> not precise at all. So I'm going to use the NYX lip liner in the shade Natural to just line my lips. Let's go in with this Vivid Hot... No, Vivid Matte Liquid. I almost said Vivid Hot Lacquer. This lipstick is extremely comfortable. I think it's a really pretty color and I kind of like it. kind of digging it. I just noticed I forgot to turn on my lights. Sad moment. But thank you to everyone that participated in the poll on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, definitely follow me. I've been posting a lot more on my Instagram stories than my Snapchat story. So just letting you know that and I have a lot of cute summer pictures coming up so follow me on there. I don't think one of these products that you guys chose really let me down. Like I think my face looks really good and I think a lot of the products really held their ground. So props to that. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye loves.